want to get more done in less time transform your designs in seconds using the magic switch with the magic switch you can now change the format of your design transform it into something new and do even more in less time if you want to learn how to utilize canva magic studio and canvas magic switch keep watching let's dive into how to utilize the magic switch now literally canva made a switch on us from um the regular resize tool to creating a new feature called magic switch which includes some of our favorite features now the magic resize tool is actually one of my personal favorites and it has been upgraded with the new feature called the magic switch where you can do a little more than just resizing with the magic switch you can resize your design into multiple formats at once or translate your design into another language now this is amazing for my entrepreneurs who are really global who are dealing with different clients from different backgrounds and they want to leverage that feature the magic switch is also a part of the magic studio like i said and it is um, included with your plan for Canva for Teams. So you can transform your presentation into a doc or resize your design into another format, or you can use the switch to translate your design into another language and all the magic will happen literally. So I am going to choose one of my existing designs here, which is a presentation that I created use, using the um the magic design for presentation feature so if you have not watched that video in terms of how i created this using the magic design feature then of course you want to check that out no so i'm going to go here so on this page right at the top tab you're going to see the the the, the text that says magic switch and the message is here your magic so magic resize got an upgrade you can now translate and transform all your resize options are still here in magic switch so just in case you're wondering right but like i said it's an upgrade because you can now translate and you can transform your dot your designs into a doc if you have not watched my video in terms of how to utilize canva dots and magic right as a combo you want to check out that video here and again i am just break going through and breaking down some of my favorite features in canva as part of the canva magic studio so you want to check out my video that i did live where i did a nice breakdown of all the features and if you want anything particular that you want to learn more about in terms of the design features or the new features as part of the canva studio you can subscribe to my channel and turn on that notification bell for all the updates because i am giving you i'm giving you everything you want to learn about this canva studio all right Right, so explore my channel and quite possibly you will find what you want if you don't see anything that you want or want to learn comment below let me know and i will create it for you all right so like i said the magic resize you got an upgrade and the section that where you can resize is a little here right so for me I utilize Instagram stories and pins. I've been doing a lot of pins recently. So these are naturally at the top. However, I can scroll down and I can browse by category for resize. And I think this is pretty good because I can choose based on the category, for instance, social media, and I can choose Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, and of course the dimensions are there. And resize is really good because it saves you a lot of time. Now, if you're on the free version of Canva, you will not have access to this. This is available in Canva Pro and Canva Teams. And if you want to try out this feature for free for 30 days, you can just use the link in my description. It's my affiliate link and it's of no charge to you until the 30 days end, right? So if you want to try it out for 30 days for free, sure, give it a test run, have all the fun in the world um because it's at it's at no cost to you so you can so you can utilize my affiliate link in the description all right so i'm going to resize actually for let's see 
a instagram post i could have done for an instagram reel but uh guys i have two awesome videos on my channel in terms of how to create instagram reels i did one which was a live video in terms of how to create instagram reels in canva okay so now i am going to select continue and one of the things i love is that i can actually preview um what this resize will look like and i'm gonna say either one out of the two i can see resize this design or copy and resize and i'm gonna choose both options so you can see what it looks like so copy and resize and i'm gonna open my instagram post and this is what it looks like and then i'm gonna go here and go back to magic resize magic switch and i am going to go to social media instagram choosing pose continue and it says resize this design and it literally just resizes but again this is what it looks like so one is that it can resize the entire design and another it will copy and resize my suggestion is to use the copy and resize because if it's a case where you want to just keep one design format and then add a different format then that's perfect all right so this is us and this is the resize i think it's pretty decent and i will do some minor adjustments and then i'm going to go through again and show you how to transform your document your design into docs using the magic switch So I've done a quick resize here and just to, you know, get things more aligned and adjusted for Instagram post. So this could actually operate or work as an Instagram carousel post, which I think is really good. All right. So we have this out and I showed you how to resize and how to just readjust your element. And this is very important. Once you utilize this feature, always ensure that you just adjust the elements because though it saves you a lot of time there are just ele some elements that really just need to you know you know repositioned for like a good layout all right so we have resize our presentation insert instagram post and this can work as a carousel post which is pretty decent no, I'm going to go back to magic switch and I'm going to choose the option that says transform into dock and I'm going to turn my design into either and I'm going to choose whether I want a summary, I want an email, I want a blog post, a poem, song lyrics. No, I think this would be really great for me to transform this dock into an email because based on the content, right? Because initially this was a pitch just talking about social media marketing and the benefits and that kind of thing so i think transforming it into an email is pretty decent and it's something that we can do and i love that we can now do this with canva because it saves us a lot of time again you do have to be scratching at it guys like all the magic is there for you to utilize and again, this is available in Canva Pro, Canva Teams. And I'm going to open this doc. And here it is. I have an email. And there's a subject, propelling your brand's online presence, marketing proposal, right? Because that's literally what it is. And, you know, of course, again, it won't be perfect. But there are some key elements that's here. Of course, we know that this is not where you'd send the email, but this is a, the copy you can utilize to paste in your email in, which, in whichever platform or, you know, service you use to send your emails. So this is a good foundation to get started. Now, it also suggests your subject and, you know, you could put the person you're addressing names here. But what I love is that one, 
I have my Grammarly tool, which you can try out for your own. I have the pro version of um, the upgraded version of Canva of Grammarly and Canva Pro, of course. But what it does is suggest how I can just, you know, restructure my sentences here, which is pretty good. But I also want to mention that you can do this as well with Canva's feature called the Magic Write feature. Now, I am going to, wherever you see the plus sign here, I can select this plus sign and select Magic Write. And pretty much I can click it. And if I click it, I can see something like write an introduction to this email or close this email or include a paragraph about my business. And I'm going to do that. So there I have it. It included like an error. I could remove that, but it did include a paragraph. And of course, one of the things is that you have to ensure that wherever you want that text to go, then you put your cursor there, select the plus sign or use the backslash on your keyboard and it will generate your content or your copy. So this is my email, but if I wanted, I could just go in, right? And I could just select Magic Right. And what Magic Right will do for me, it will give me some suggestions. It says continue writing, summarize the text, rewrite, make it more fun, make it more formal, or add some sp or sprinkle fairy dust, of course, with the magic. And it, of course, it can fix spelling. So if you're struggling in that area and you don't have Grammarly, you can use utilize this, the feature of the Magic Right to bring your copy to life and you know make it better so we're going to try two things we're going to one rewrite it and then i'm going to tell it to check for spelling all right all right so what it did was to rewrite the email however what it did was to place it at the lower end of the page and if i am pleased with this i could go ahead and delete what already exists and uh, I could just go ahead and make again some adjustments using my Grammarly tool. I could also go again and highlight it and select a magic right and say fix spelling. All right, and there's a prompt no spelling or grammar mistakes was found in the content. Of course, again, if you have Grammarly, utilize it. Um, the technology is not perfect and you have a smart. So, of course, go through, read and ensure that there's no spelling errors. There are no grammatical errors because Grammarly is saying one thing in terms of, hey, you know, some of these things need fixing. There's a difference between your English, the type of English you're using, which is North American versus, versus the British English. So, I mean, Grammarly is that type of tool to to, you know give your st correct structure so of course it would do the more of a better job and canvas magic right would do a fairly decent job so from a human standpoint again just make sure you do your checks so yes guys this is how you can utilize the magic resize uh, magic switch feature I should say and you can transform a document which was originally a presentation into a uh, instagram post which i would use as a carousel and then transform it again into an email i could even transform it into a blog post and i am going to show you how to do that in this section so i'm going to go to transform into that I'm back at my um resized um design which was my instagram carousel and i'm going to transform that doc into a blog post and again, it will take some time. So we have a blog post. We have the title, Driving Your Brand Social Media Presence Forward, A Minimalistic Approach. 
and it went through and did the job similar to what I did with the email. The difference this time is that it did give a subtitle for the different sections. So again, guys, if you want to transform one document into multiple formats, the magic switch is your feature to utilize just to transform your documents or designs into something else. Another tool or feature that's a part of the magic switch I would say is the translate. No, I speak English. I have very little background in other languages, a little Spanish because I didn't study Spanish and a decent French because I studied French in high school, but I really haven't been, you know, practicing. So it's not as sharp, but if you want to translate your document and this is perfect, if you have like audience from different backgrounds, then you can utilize the magic um, switch and translate your document. So. I can translate it to over 100 languages and that is something that is really amazing and I can translate it into over 100 languages and then I can also apply it to all pages right or I can select a particular page and I can say translate existing design without creating a copy. So this is very important to note, right? You have to know these things so you don't override or overwrite, I should say, your design, right? So I'm going to say translate it to French. All right. And naturally, one of the things that will happen when you're translating is that quite possibly you will have to do some repositioning of the text right so this is what it looks like and this is pretty decent i don't have to do a lot of repositioning so if you speak french or if you speak another language or your audience speak another language and you know that language then this is good and i know persons who actually speak another language said yes the translate tool works perfectly all right so this is just how you can utilize the magic switch how you can bring and your designs to life or does whatever you want to create to life and transform and have fun and you know this is really good um for every single canva user whether you're an entrepreneur content creator wherever you are these features are pretty good i love the magic switch feature and like i said it's available with canva pro so if you want to try it out free for 30 days then you can click the link in my description if you enjoyed this canva tutorial give this video a thumbs up and leave your comments in the box below i'd love to hear from you also don't forget to subscribe if you want to get more canva tutorials just like this